And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, April 28, 2020. Now let's go to Mr. Verdeer's vocabulary word of the week. Good morning, boys and girls. This is Mr. Verdeer, and I am here with Verdeer's vocabulary word of the week. Our word of the week for this week is Zephyr. Now, Zephyr is a noun. Primarily, it's known as a breeze from the west. Also, it can be a lightweight fabric or an article of clothing like a jacket or a pullover. Zephyr is our word of the week. Now, I've heard the word Zephyr before because we have popular water bottles that we drink called Zephyr Hills. So if we took the word Zephyr, a breeze from the west, and hills, that gives us hills that have a breeze from the west. So our word this week is Zephyr. So make sure you use Zephyr in your vocabulary. This is Mr. Verdeer wishing all of you a fantastic week. Thank you, Mr. Verdeer. That was awesome. Now let's go to Jaden to see what's happening today in history. Thank you, Danielle. Today in history, on April 28, 1750, the fifth president of the United States, James Monroe, was born in Westmoreland in Virginia. Now let's go to Nathaniel to see what to do today if you're bored and stuck indoors. Thank you, Jaden. Hello, Patriots family. Welcome to Things to Do If You're Bored. You want something to do if you're bored? We got a really fun activity for you. Today we're going to be making fishing lines and little fishies. And we're going to play a game called Fish Hook. This is what they look like. Here are the steps. First take a sheet of paper and cut it into a square. You can pick any color you want. After you cut out the square, fold it in half diagonally and trim off any sides that are exceeding the square. After you've done that, take it and fold the two corners down to the bottom to create a row mist and then fold those two back up and all the way. Then fold the corners back as shown. Fold it up and then fold the bottom up again. After you've done that, cut slits into each side. Then put it to the back. Do a squash fold and then take the regular piece of paper and pull out them and fold them into the shape of fins. Put the paper clip into the top of the fish. Then take a long stick or pencil and cut some string or fishing line and tie it onto the stick. Then add a paper clip to the end of the string and knot it. Then go fish. Yeah, I got it. That was so fun. Now we all have something to play with when we're bored. Remember, check. 
check in tomorrow for the next DIY and if you did this one, please send pictures or videos to pies.renaissance at gmail.com. And stay creative! Now let's go back to Danielle. Thank you, Nathaniel. That was great. Now let's go to weather with Vani. Thank you, Danielle. Today's weather in Pembroke, Florida is forecasted to be 85 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. Now let's go back to Samuel for the joke of the day. Thank you, Vani. And here's today's joke of the day. Two boys were camping in their backyard. Late at night, they started wondering what time it was. Start singing really loudly, one of them suggested. How will that help? asked the other boy. Just do it, insisted the first. They both started singing as loudly as they could. Moments later, a neighbor threw open her window and shouted, Keep it down! Don't you know it's three o'clock in the morning? <laughs> that was hilarious! Thanks, Sammy! Teachers, please be on your remote page to welcome your scholars in in the morning. Attendance must be taken at some point each day. And lastly, teachers, please don't forget to provide our scholars with positive hero points. Patriots, please don't forget your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats, Ms. Milholm, Mrs. Kuttner, Ms. Cavalita, Ms. Silvera, and Ms. Moraz. You had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, what is the most common name for a dog? The correct answer was Bella and Max. Now for today's trivia question. At what temperature is Fahrenheit and Celsius the same? Once again, at what temperature is Fahrenheit and Celsius the same? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. for your responses to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you a terrific Tuesday. And remember, reset your mindset. Have a great day.